Tonight, city crews were picking up trash in Noma, which was all they could do after the city suspended the removal of the homeless encampments on L and M streets. The order to stop came after a small bulldozer was clearing out a tent while a man was still inside. So they cut a hole in the tent just to make sure that this person was okay. And so they brought in the fire department who actually got him out. The man was taken to the hospital for a checkup and is expected to be okay. We got to do better. That's plain and simple. The city was clearing tents as part of a pilot program announced last month. The goal? Connect more than 100 people to housing and services while closing down four encampments for health and public safety reasons. But advocates have questioned the timing and lack of public input. Had there been a better public process, I think we would have had some clear understanding and recommendations um, from some of the unhoused residents who actually live in these affected areas. Some left early while others are choosing to stay. This unhoused resident says he's still waiting to move into housing through the program. Everybody that chose housing put an application in. Like me, I'm just waiting for a move-in date. For the last 10 years, he's lived at the underpass, hoping to move into an apartment sooner than later. We're already on the street, so just got to survive like I've been on for the last 10 years. No word yet on when crews will return to remove the rest of the tents, but advocates say they wouldn't be surprised if they come back as early as Tuesday. Reporting in Noma tonight, I'm Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.